The announcement of MOUs first before sir, uh, Honorable yeah. Chief Minister speaks. Yeah, please. Uh, yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, since our Honorable Chief Minister and our Honorable Union Minister are here. Honorable Minister for National Highways and Ports, Surface Transport Totally, my friend, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, dignitaries of the Dias and friends. You have seen, you heard about our minister now. Whenever I speak to him, I am getting so much of confidence. For every problem, if you give, you will give a solution. That is what uh, Gadkari ji is doing. Really, I appreciate you for all your uh, efforts in building one of the best roads in India. You are all aware, for any production, logistics are very, very important. If there are good roads, good railway connectivity, air connectivity, then naturally, cost of commodities will be totally reduced. That is what everybody is doing now. All developed countries, they are having excellent infrastructure. Even China, they have done very good infrastructure. Because of good infrastructure, industries have come, employment has come, even mass production they are able to achieve. In this direction, I really appreciate Government of India. They are concentrating on industrial corridors. In industrial corridors, mainly if you see, physical infrastructure is very, very important. Generally, all over the world, if you see, sea coast is developing three, four times more than compared to in, inland, interland. Reason is for exports and also imports also, we can do it. Even some of the countries, they don't have resources and at the same time they don't have market also. They are getting raw, raw materials and manufacturing, again they are exporting. That is how they are creating wealth in a big way. India, we are having excellent market, huge market. If you see resources, very rich resources. And also if you see human resources, we are very strong. Apart from that, massive industrialization is not taking place. With the government of India initiative now, I am confident it is going to happen. In Andhra Pradesh, if you see, there are two industrial corridors. One is Visakhapatnam to Chennai and also Bangalore to Chennai via Krishnapatnam. In these two industrial corridors, there are five industrial nodes. One is in Visakhapatnam, we are having Nakkapalli Ashtapuram, second node in Krishna district, third node in Donakonda, and also fourth is Erpedu in Tirupati, and also Chennai, Bangalore Industrial Corridor, Krishnapatnam is coming. Even if you complete this, again we will go to up to Srikakulam. There also we want to establish one or two industrial corridors, nodes, Bhavanipadu like that. And then it will go to Kalakatta. From Chennai it will go to down. That is the beauty of this industrialization. I am very happy. In Andhra Pradesh, even yesterday I told you very clearly, we are having additional advantage. 970 kilo, 974 kilometer sea coast and also excellent infrastructure connecting Kolkata to Chennai road. And also we are having inland waterways, Buckingham Canal. During British period, they used to use this canal for uh, goods and also passenger transportation. That is totally uh, 
not uh, we are not using that now i am very happy ministers are interested that uh, inland waterways now i interland connectivity raipur they are having very rich resources of mineral wealth you name anything everything is coming but they want to export they don't have port then naturally it is going to have big impact for chatisgarh state itself and also for andhra pradesh especially visakhapatnam i reckon from mumbai to karagpur crossing raipur and also nagpur if they connect raipur to visakhapatnam then this is a real connectivity from so i told very clearly all development benefits has to bear a special project report then the government of india and government of andhra pradesh ngin we are going to do this project in andhra pradesh in a big way friends we are having all resources here agro 143000 crores worth of mous we have entries even saudi and also abu dhabi our principal secretary rnb and mr anil dikshit regional officer nhai andhra pradesh to kindly join us on stage for the mou exchange ceremony in the same line of thought one is from chennai it will go to delhi via kajipet nagpur another is going and mr ajay jain principal secretary energy and infrastructure for manufacturing and operation of e mobility buses backed by renewable energy under the same time aerospace and defense